we talk about the importance of China uh, playing a bigger global role. Uh, we always do this with the um, unspoken, uh, unspoken implicit hope and assumption that they will do so consonant with our interests um, mm -hmm. uh, and our views. Of course, if, if you'd not, then, then we wouldn't be all that enthusiastic uh, about their playing a bigger, uh, having a bigger global role. But I, th I think on, on issues, on security issues like Iran and North Korea, which are, I think, the major, the major issues that we'll face in the next, in the coming years, um, it will affect uh, U.S.-China relations if China is, uh, is passive. I mean, the, the judgment of the Obama administration at the outset was that there were a whole slew of international issues, including those climate change, energy security, um, global economic recovery, uh, which could not be successfully um, managed without uh, a Chinese role that was more than a free rider, uh, free rider position. So if China is, in fact, passive, uh, and passive isn't really the right word. Really, the right word is the right way to describe it. If China pursues its um, national self-interest on issues like relationship with North Korea and Iran, rather than thinking about the global, regional and global impact of proliferation, um, then it will, have, uh, it will have an impact and it will have a negative impact. 